All right, folks, let's have a, a, a little comment from our a celebrity guest, Clive Barker. Clive, what did you think about when you worked on Clive Barker's Untying? That's fascinating. Anyways, back to the music. Any further thoughts on uh, how, like, horror works in games as a medium? No. Strong cyanotype, I understand it. You know, uh, I mean, I guess that's why you became an author, because you're not really one for, like, talking. You're m more a man of the written world. Right? No.
and this is just my luck. The star of the show decided to uh, move elsewhere. Well, such is life sometimes. Interesting that the OST uh, for this game like also has all the uh, cutscenes uh, complete with sound effects in uh, in there. I don't know. Seems like a bit of a weird. Uh, I don't know, weird uh, decision there. I guess uh, he didn't like, uh, Mr. Barker didn't like my uh, hard-hitting questions and my uh, vehement style of uh, interviewing. Some, for, you know, celebrities, you know how they are, they can't handle uh, hard-hitting journalism. Anyways, let's get to the main uh, main dish of to, to tonight's uh, rain buffet of evil. Um, you know, right? They don't have if it's like a like a food. Uh, they don't have dishes really. Like not. Not like main dish dishes, and uh, um, of tonight's uh, three course meal of horror. There, there, that sounded slightly better. Anyway, so let's play the fucking game. Uh, like uh, you probably all, what which is probably all you guys came here for, anyways. So yeah, let's do that. So switch to gameplay. Make sure we got all the stuff set up. Uh, yeah. So last time, well, we 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 did a bunch of stuff. We finished off Aaron. We finally got a look at Bethany, and now we're, uh, I guess, in a night trapped in a nightmare world with some sort of uh, weird. Sort of Native American, I guess, uh, inspired monster dudes, and uh, it's all very trippy, but, you know, nice pay a change of scenery, even though, I don't know, it's a bit bullshit that, uh, how much damage they do, but hey, let's see uh, what else the game has in store for us, and, I mean, I do know it's not actually all that much because after uh, last time I did like have a quick peek at a walkthrough just like to see how much of the game was left and there's like very limited amount of stuff still left just so if I'd known that before I probably would have continued streaming last time but hey I think I mean now that I keep saying it, I'm probably jinxing myself, I'm naming myself to like getting stuck on the next boss fight and having to do it for like four hours. Uh, but 
If that isn't the case, unlikely as it may, might seem, uh, I think I'm going to s start streaming something else. So, if that's more your jam, you, I guess you got that to look forward to. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, the stupid flowers, and they're already coming up behind me. Ah! God damn it! I mean... Okay, first off... Jeez. That was like more hassle than it really needed to be. There is bad dude. Bonk. Ah. And I guess one headshot takes care of these teleporting dudes, which, you know, is pretty nice because they pretty annoying otherwise. With like all their you know, teleporting all over the place. Seems like a dick move to me. Oh. Okay. It's... Looks like it's platforming time. Especially since there's like invisible walls here. Interesting. But that didn't seem to be too bad, right? Um, actually, before I do that, maybe I can snipe some dudes. Charge the board, and then... Come on, man. Fuck. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I guess uh, they're actually not that bad. I'm thinking the reason I had like had problem with problems with them before is because I didn't actually hit. Like once you do hit them, they they don't seem to take too much damage. Or maybe they're more vulnerable to uh, projectile attacks than they are to. Um, do you like the size? I don't know. So I see you there. What a bob. Now. That's... I guess the hitbox is a bit weird. Oh, hey. It's one of these guys. Been a while since we faced one of those. Uh... Actually. There we go. Nice. And we got a good chunk of healing items, which, you know, pretty, pretty reassuring. Uh, 
And so far, I was about to say that so far we didn't like have any jump scare uh, vases, but I guess that's that's out the window now. Yeah. But yeah, I wonder why the hell... I mean, I guess because it's spooky, but I'm not sure why there's like dead people all over the place. What? What like? What's like up with that? Because it doesn't really look like there's any sort of strife within these guys. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe it's what they do when they're bored. Ah! Uh huh? Heh. Ah. Nice. I mean, probably not the most efficient way to go about this, but, you know... It, like... Saves me... It saves health and tears. And at least... I mean... Okay. Generally speaking, this whole area uh, has been pretty generous with, like, throwing those uh, spears at us. I wonder... Can I make it? Nope. Okay. And I guess we got, like, this pretty useless... Uh, Rocket attack. Missile. Okay. Ow. Oh shit. Huh? Where's the plant? Because they like pop out of the ground, so I assume. Is that, li is that like for. Does it mean we gotta dynamite some shit or what? Oh, I see you there, mister. Actually, maybe, maybe, for once in my life, I am going to use this. Molotovs could go to effect? Absolutely not, of course. Yep. Fuck you. I mean, the door out there doesn't really open, so... Hmm. Maybe the splash damage on the skulls is going to be enough. Ah, okay, so I... I guess this is why the game doesn't, like, keep giving me any more dynamite, because uh, I got, like, the skulls to do the job, too, as well. Ow! Shit, there's still more of these guys, so... Didn't expect that. Huh. I mean, more of those, uh, plant dudes. Eh, let's see. Man, riveting gameplay, I know, I know. Out. Hmm. 
weird. I guess this is some sort of butcher's shop, or maybe... Uh, yeah, butcher's shop, I guess. <sighs> I don't know. Not quite my style of interior decoration. Ah, fuck you, man. Yeah, the whole teleportation thing doesn't really seem to be that much affected by the slowdown on the Tibetan war cannon. Okay, that's one. find these guys pretty annoying to fight, actually. But oh well. Let's hope we don't have to do much more of that. Okay, there's these guys. Look, they're, they're fine, I think. If I could see him. Ah, uh, right. Come on, man. Stop being a bitch. Oh, ma'am? I don't know. Thank you. More like Clive Barker's very much dying. Am I right, folks? Ah, neat. I guess can't get in there. Okay, I suppose looks like we're meant to get get up here somehow. Oh, huh? Oh, didn't actually expect that to be real. He is coming, eternal and undying. He will resume his reign. Ah, I am his mistress, the now and future queen. Soon we will embrace and preside over the new dominion. Uh, sure? Your king is a parasite, Bethany. I'll make sure you infect this family no more, and that your mighty king will feed the worms. Impudence! You struggle against the ocean and don't even realize it. All the power I acquire <laughs> in this world pales to that which he possesses. His throne will be built on the bones of humanity. I promise you that'll not happen. It's time to steal your tongue. No, it is time for you to realize who you are fighting. Ugh. Ow!
Whoa. Okay. That. Yep. <laughs> I. Sure. That's a design. Of something. Uh. Okay, that wasn't that effective, at least not as effective as I'd hoped. But I think if I like take these small guys out first, that's probably going to be good. Yep. Yep, sounds like it's pretty good because she seems to be getting something from you know, killing those guys, uh, or I don't know if like the idea is that she's sort of getting some sort of health from them or something. I mean, actually, I can make more use of this arena than I currently am. Okay. Ah. Ah. Ah, fuck. Right, so let the scythe on its odd fire. Okay, her hitbox seems to be interesting. Oh. Oh. Gotta say, I don't know. He's, I mean, those boss fights, the boss design is all very cool, but fights themselves are sort of a bit... Huh? <laughs> Lackluster. Like half of the time I've got no idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, but then sometimes they just fall over dead and that's it. Anyways. Well, it looks like you've succeeded. You are full of Patrick. You've apparently learned to harness that stone's power quite effectively. Slain my entire family. Done what I could not. You even bested Kaisinger. Also, cutscenes are uh, super fucking loud for no particular reason. What's this? This is fate, old friend. I've spent the last 20 years fearing this moment, hoping to figure a way out of this curse. <laughs> All I need is that stone you carry to end my misery. But I saw you die. You saw what you wanted to see. An old friend hacked down by his black sheep of a brother, yet slain by a weapon powerless to our curse. Of all people, Patrick, you should know the sole purpose of the scythe. I wish I could have planned on the hot-headedness of Ambrose, but I couldn't have created a better ruse for myself. No way did you suspect me. <laughs> you thought my siblings killed me, and your blind rage did the rest. <laughs> oh, well, it matters little now. You've completed the work I could not. You were my friend. Why are you doing this? Oh, yes, I guess we were friends once. But on that faraway continent, I felt the inevitable calling of my brothers and sisters. I was drawn back to this land, to the death that stirs beneath us. I died the day I saved you on that battlefield, seared by that blast from the Shaman Stone. 
However, I awoke from my death with lifeless eyes, enslaved to do the bidding of the king. I could no longer deny what was in me, but you unwittingly held the key. You can't think I'll let you get away with this, Jeremiah. You should be grateful I'm killing you. You won't like the world I've planned. Once I have the stone and drain the power of this old king beneath our feet, I'll show the world the true <laughs> meaning of reality. You know what, Jeremiah? You talk too much. Well, that was easy. Oh. Okay, um... Well... I guess that's... Not good? Uh... Okay... Ah... That's more like it. Anyways, here's a dude we saw in a cutscene once. Sorta. And... I don't know! Guess... Um... Ow! I guess we don't want to get too close to his, uh... Little things there. But so far, shield seems to be fairly good against them. Oh, uh, nice. Why? Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, these are annoying. Those things he spits out. Um. Okay. Not entirely sure how to best go against them. I, those little, those tentacles seem to be a bit of an issue. I wonder if we can... Doesn't look like we can kill them. As far as I can tell, so I guess the idea is to keep moving. Which is fine, fine with me. Oh no. I. hmm. Sort of feel like a bit about. like I did with the Ambrose fight. Like I've got no real idea what the hell I'm supposed to. Oh, I still got flight! That's nice! Probably not when I'm caught in this, like, little. death thing there, but maybe to deal with those. Uh. Oh boy. I guess generally speaking you don't want to be stuck inside the bad guy. I mean, well, you might if you, you were like into a different kind of game. Like, I guess it's a uh, very popular uh, with like on Tumblr or something when you're stuck inside the bad guy. Look, I probably should try to win this fight and make less stupid jokes. I mean, I'm not dying constantly, so that's good, but I'm also not sure if I'm doing really anything good here. It's like the idea to... Oh. I... Doesn't really seem like any specific thing I'm doing is works like better than any other thing I'm doing. Okay, like having a shield up is a good idea. That that far much I can tell. But like, are we doing damage to him? Do we like need to attack like his weird? Like I'm sort of thinking we need to attack the little uh, throat-looking thing, but. Uh, I don't know. Um, oh boy. 
I mean, the game gives us lots of explosive items, so probably we want to use those, but on the other hand, they're sort of useless. I don't know, let's just throw dynamite all over the place and hope it does something. I mean, ah, I think that's good. That we. Um. Okay, no. Uh. Why? I'm confused. Okay, um, maybe, like it sort of seemed to be good when I got him to open his little whatever that thing is, I don't know. Weird. Okay, like so. I don't want to get stuck in there, but I think maybe the idea is to get to shoot like dynamite inside of it. I, I'm like pretty clueless. Anyways, I guess I might as well use keep using my uh, Okay, skull, skull time. Yeah, I guess the skulls aren't as effective. Okay, I got this thing there. And I'm not dying, so, I mean that don't like me having my shield up, but hey, what can you do, pal? Ah. Okay, so if I fall into his, like, more thing, it's an insta-death. Nice. Um. Huh? I... I don't know, man. Okay, sometimes he just, like, uh, decides not to th actually throw the dynamite. Uh, he j Patrick likes just dropping it right in front of his feet, which... I don't know. Not great. <sighs> okay, this is getting pretty dang annoying. I, like, I can sort of understand why they put you in that stupid uh, hole in the ground now, asshole. You're a real jerk, you know that? Or does he, like, is it like he, did he reflect that somehow or did I just not throw it? I'm not sure. What the hell am I even doing here? Or maybe I'm supposed to use the Phoenix Egg thing. Ah, and I guess the tentacles are to keep me from hanging out too long near the water. I... Whoa. Okay, right. Uh, dynamite. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. Maybe more dynamite again. I don't know, man. What the hell? How the hell am I supposed to escape that attack? So I really wish they didn't, if like the idea is to use dynamite, uh, I really wish they didn't like make the boss, find a boss fight like dependent on inventory management with it. This is like one aspect in which the game is real fucking annoying. I don't know, is this good? Is this bad? Is it... Am I supposed to attack him while he's doing, holding his little stomach like he's got a little belly ache? I don't know, man. It would be nice if they like indicated whenever I was doing something right and whenever I was doing something wrong, you know? I don't know. Feel like a little bit of guidance. I guess I'm not old school enough to appreciate this at it. Approach here. Ow. I mean, it sounds like I do something right there. Okay, I guess I did. That's how I avoid that attack there. <sighs> you know what? I'm actually just going to look up a walk for the protest or something because I got no fucking idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. Probably the, the answer is just to shoot him a lot until he dies, but eh, let's make sure. Sort of seems like usually when you're get, getting to final bosses in games, there's got to be some dumb puzzle element there, so... I don't know, and I don't think that uh, it's like a very fun process uh, trying to figure it out. That's not really all that helpful. Okay, what do you say?
for some reason. Okay. Uh huh, because it. Great, the walkthrough isn't like a gem, isn't like a proper manner on my head, uh, on my mobile phone. But here, here this looks better. Good old game facts. Nice. Okay. okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Supposedly I'm super supposed to attack the great big thing on top, so let's um do that shit then. So riveting gameplay, I know, I know. Storm. Okay, and just keep repeating that shit. I mean, it sounds like he's not having a great time, so... That's nice, at least. See, we charge that shit. Okay, honestly, I think I kind of preferred this boss fight when I didn't have a clue what to do. Almost. 
Ah. Wrong spell. Man, there's gotta be a better way. But it sort of looks like I'm doing something here. You know, he's like all pissed off and everything. Honestly, won't you please die, mister? I mean, I guess uh, he's like the Undying King and all that, but come on, this is getting stupid. I mean, okay, sometimes I guess my problem is that the uh, hitboxes don't really trigger as you'd expect them to. I mean, maybe if they all burn, then that's cool. I don't know. Okay. I guess the game decided that was stupid enough to... Jump scare stones! <gasps> oh, where am I? Dang. Yo, it, it can't be. I'm not done with you yet. Uh. Okay. There's no way of telling where that Gilzebar stone disappeared to. Into a bottomless ocean, or an eerie phantasm of sorts. I drifted out to sea. It took months to finally get my strength back. I think I finally have some idea of what went on. The beast I slayed manipulated the Covenant family the same way Jeremiah did to me. It called for him, and he called for me. The creature was a guardian, a sentinel of a gate to somewhere. Some when. The Celtic warrior was just a sacrificial lid on a tomb that was never supposed to be open. Oh sure, I've tried to convince myself that it's all over now. The terror, the battles. I've got to get away and rest, where no one will find me. You see, I looked into the Brotherhood of St. George, and I found other monasteries scattered all over the world. And other gates, too. Watched by other guards, no doubt. About the only thing I fear anymore is that they'll call on me again. Jim. Okay. Uh, well, that was a bit anticlimactic. I guess we can look at the credits. Oh. Well, these guys were. I guess that was Clive Barker's Undying. Um, yeah. And these guys. Oh, John St. John. That's the voice actor for Duke Nukem. Uh, I played people in this. I wonder who, who he was. Maybe the lighthouse keeper? Sort of seems like a thing he'd do. 
Um, but yeah. I guess that was ending. Bit of a letdown at the end. I don't know. I like it's got like. In general, the game has like some re really cool ideas, but I think the implementation is sort of uneven. I mean, I I I don't know. I like the whole idea of like having the different parts devoted to like different characters with like the. Uh, siblings you're fighting, stuff like that, and the writing is pretty good, mostly. Uh, I mean, the of the like lore and what have you. But I don't know. I feel like it sort of lost a bit of steam at the end. Uh, you know, with them like I don't know. Did we? I don't think we like ever used our ghost vision the entire time during this uh, last part, and it that just sort of felt like a bit of a you know, sort of, I, I guess it might have gotten a bit stale if really they overdid it, but it sort of felt like they forgot about it there at the end. Um, and, you know, the whole clap, they suddenly, like, the, the, their confidence in their, like, uh, platform section design skills was a bit overstated. But, generally speaking, I don't know, it was a pretty neat right and you know again didn't really expect to uh have like as as much variety in the levels as they turned out to be but yeah that's that they never did make a sequel even though it's sort of it's pretty strongly implied there at the end that they at least thought of it um clive barker did work I mean, there's like another game that's got like Clive Barker in the title, Clive Barker's Jericho, which is sort of a horror-themed first-person team-based tactics shooter, which, pff, interesting choice. Uh, it's supposedly very, very bad. It looks like it's like one of those early Unreal Engine 3 games, I think, and it looks like just absolute fucking garbage. I mean, visually, no offense. But, uh, sort of sounds like it might be interesting to try. I don't know. Uh, but I don't have that uh, installed. And I think uh, maybe we could use a bit of a break from all the spooky stuff. So, let's see what I've got installed next for you. It's, I don't know, it's considering now... Halloween's over, it's November, the year's moving towards its end, uh, the weather's, weather's getting colder, I think uh, it's time to start with the winter games. And, like, what game do we think of when we think of winter? That's right, it's obviously Max Payne. So I think I'll give that one a shot now, after like a short break. Catch you guys in about 10 or so minutes. Well, once I change the stuff around. And yeah. Turn on the music.